Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Beloved brothers and sisters, may Allah Almighty's divine peace and light and blessing, strength and support be with you, with myself, with our entire community. This is Ihsan and another Ramadan reminder. And today's reminder, gentle reminder, as Allah Almighty says in the Quran, remind, because reminder is beneficial for the believer. To always remind and to always remember. And that is today's Ramadan reminder. To remain in remembrance. Remain in remembrance. One of the great gifts of Holy Ramadan, that it creates an atmosphere and an environment of remembrance, continual remembrance. We're fasting, we are praying, we're attending the mosque, we're breaking fast with others. There are the Tataway prayers, there are special events and gatherings and opportunities to continually be in remembrance. And remembrance is the way of the believer. Remembrance is the way of our Prophet ﷺ. By nature, we as human beings are forgetful. The root word, insan, which means the human being, comes from the same root word, nasya, which means to forget or to be forgetful. And this is a test for humanity, a test of sincerity. It's a test of excellence. It's a test of our will and our choice. What we choose to focus on, what we choose to believe in, whether we choose to awaken through remembrance or allow ourselves to fall into heedlessness and into unconsciousness, the state of ghafla, that the Prophet sought to save humanity from. This is why Allah Almighty mentions throughout the Quran to continually make dhikr, to always be in remembrance. The Prophet advised when one of the companions came and said, Ya Rasulullah, can you give me some advice? He, وسلم, peace and blessings upon him and upon all of the Prophets and Messengers of Allah Almighty, Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, all of them, the ones we know and the ones we do not know. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said to the man, Keep your tongue moist with dhikrullah. Keep your tongue moist with the remembrance of God. We live in a strange world now where the remembrance of God is being taken out of the lexicon. In our modern secular societies, we're removing the sacred from our lives. To the contrary, as a believer, remember God, affirm God, mention God, thank Allah, praise Allah, and be of benefit to those around you. Because the soul cannot be happy. It will suffer and die without the remembrance of God. The Prophet ﷺ said that the difference between those who make dhikr of Allah, who remember Allah, who mention Allah, and those who do not, is the difference between the living and the dead. He ﷺ taught that any gathering in which the remembrance of God is lacking is a dead gathering. It's without benefit. It's, it's without blessings. So be of those who continually remember God and engage in a consistent dhikr practice. This is why Shiu teachers of spirituality and of Islam, the religion, the way, always provide for their students and for seekers, for aspirants, a daily litany, a daily prescription of dhikr to keep on a daily basis to stay in a practice of remembrance. So beloved brothers and sisters, gentle, simple, short reminder, remain in remembrance. Be amongst those who are in remembrance. In fact, Allah says in the Quran to be with those, to consult those, to keep the company of those who are in remembrance. Be with the people of dhikr so that you may become a person of dhikr. The more that we remember Allah, the more that we develop, the more that we evolve in true, sincere re remembrance of Allah. Join a community of friends, brothers, sisters that are in remembrance, that keep remembrance, that are seeking to awaken. Right? Be with those who are seeking to awaken because everyone is asleep. Sayyid Ali Karamullah Waju said that all of creation, all human beings are asleep, but they will awaken when they die. And of course, the goal of religion, the goal of faith, the goal of spirituality, ultimately is to awaken before we die to die to the false self, to the delusion of the ego, and awaken to truth, to reality. And this is why our Prophet ﷺ said, it's reported as him having said, die before you die. It means to awaken before you die. Is it absolutely necessary? No, of course not. But my feeling, my inclination, my belief is that if you are tuning into these videos, then you are of those seeking truth, seeking to awaken, seeking to advance, seeking to progress, seeking purpose. May Allah Almighty guide you and myself and us all together, inshallah. Together we advance and together we evolve, together we rise. And I'll conclude with that, brothers and sisters. Also one just simple quick last reminder, if you're enjoying these videos, subscribe and make sure you hit the notification. Hit the notification icon so that you can get updated when new videos come out. And also give these videos a like, let YouTube know that this content is valuable, it's useful. And we pray that inshallah it reaches more and more people. We live in strange times and we must do our best to call people back, to call people back to the way, back to truth, back to themselves and back to their creator. May Allah Almighty guide us, support us and strengthen us all to your divine and eternal success. Fi amanallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.